everyone for confirming so uh, thank you all of you for coming live for this particular uh, you can say opportunity so uh, google is hiring 2025 batch students for the internship role okay so the role is software engineering intern and the internship will be in the month of may or june 2024 okay I am going to give you a lot of details about this particular internship. But first of all, let us understand the eligibility criteria. Okay, so who are actually eligible to apply for this particular internship by Google? At the end of the live session, I'm going to give you the application link. But don't be in a hurry. I'll give you some pointers which you need to use while applying for this internship. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And if you have got any query, then later on you can ask me in the chat okay so let us just move down so this particular page is the official page of google careers so wherein they have updated about software engineering intern summer 2024 okay so let us check who can apply so there are two types of qualifications so minimum qualification so currently pursuing a bachelor's master's or phd degree in computer science or related technical field okay so they are preferring the students who are currently doing their bachelor's master's or phd degree in computer science or maybe related field so maybe if you are in the field of data science ai ml Okay, or if you are very good with software development, if you're from maybe electronics, you can still try apply and check if you get shortlisted. Okay, now, uh, whenever they're talking about experience in software development in one or more general purpose programming languages, experience does not mean that you should be working previously experience means you should do a lot of projects you should have experience working on that particular language doing projects or you are good on maybe solving a lot of uh, lead code or hacker rank problems such kind of experience okay as a student experience they are asking you should have the ability to speak and write in english fluently now guys what are the preferred qualifications so what do you mean by preferred qualifications minimum qualifications means you should have these three points to apply for this position and preferred qualification means that students having these particular five points would be preferred and they would be shortlisted for the further rounds okay so the first most important point is returning to a degree program after completion of the internship so what is the meaning of this particular point? So first of all, understand guys, the internship is going to be in the month of May and June 2024. And the duration is going to be 10 to 12 weeks. So 10 to 12 weeks is around two and a half, three months. Okay. Now what they are saying, you should return to your degree program after completion of internship. So maybe if the internship starts in the month of June, then it will end in the month of probably in August 2024. After that, you should return to your particular education or degree. So that is the reason basically the 2024 batch students are not eligible for this particular application. So even if there is a word 2024, it doesn't mean that 2024 students are eligible. The internship is going to be in the summer of 2024. Okay. But what they are saying is that they want students who would be returning to degree program. So this is specifically for 2025 batch students who would basically return to the uh, degree program after completion of internship. So all the students who are 2025 batch students in May 2024 and June 2024, you would be completing your third year, right? And after that, you would be entering your final year. So after the completion of internship, you would be basically returning to your degree program, right? Now, you should have knowledge or experience in system software or algorithm. So you should be good with DSA, okay? You should have knowledge of Linux or Windows environments and APIs, familiarity with TCP, IP and networking. So you they should you should have good knowledge of computer networks and then excellent implementation skills. Or that is, you should be good with at least one programming language, that is C, Java, and Python. Okay. Now it is going to be a paid internship. That is, means they are going to provide you stipend. Okay. So once you join Google, they are going to give you stipend for this particular internship for 10 to 12 weeks okay and you can just read about this job later on what are what are the things you will be getting while interning at google so they have given more information about this particular job responsibilities they are saying that it will vary according to the project so maybe the all the students who get selected maybe not will not get the same projects so depending upon your project the responsibilities will vary now 
guys uh, basically you can apply for this once you click on apply they are basically ask you to uh, create your profile okay so you have to enter your legal name your email address and the country and phone number okay later on just check guys this form will open up okay in this form you have to upload your resume and preferably go for pdf format okay and maximum size should be of 2 mb okay now if you check here what they have mentioned over here to start the application process you need an updated cv or resume and a current unofficial or official transcript in english i'll tell you what is this particular transcript okay don't uh, worry about it right now okay you should click on apply okay and then provide required materials in appropriate sections pdfs are preferred so make sure all your documents are in pdf now what you need to do in the resume section you need to update your cv or resume so as i shown you over here you need to upload your resume now what they have told in the education section in the education section attach current or recent unofficial or official transcript okay in english i'll tell you what is transcript under degree status select now attending to upload a transcript so what you need to do over here if you check here okay you have to select attended university degree program yes enter your college name degree you have to select and here you have to select now attending if you select now attending then you will get a option to upload your transcript okay now what is transcript so google has already provided some faqs about their internship okay so if you go over here these are the official faq page of google internship <clears throat> now you can check here guys what is an transcript okay yeah see what does a complete application look like so basically each job description outlines what necessary and a complete application includes a resume with a visible graduation date so make sure in your resume your graduation date is either may 2025 or june 2025 or maybe july 2025 so clearly mention the month and year in which you are going to graduate next undergraduate or graduate transcripts okay so what are transcripts transcripts are nothing but basically the courses which you have studied okay so the list of subjects if you don't have a transcript what should i include so please send us a tentative course list and full course titles so whatever you have or you are going to learn during your four years of engineering or whatever degree you are having so basically you have to give them the detail name of each and every subject which you are learning okay so that is the transcript so you can create a pdf about which subjects you have learned in your first year second year third year final year which you are going to learn and that make a pdf document and you can upload that basically in the transcript uh, field okay, over here so make sure you do that okay because they have clearly mentioned over here that they will need a transcript if transcript is not there just give them a detailed subjects which you have to which you are studying and which you will be studying in next year so give them all the name of the subjects okay now uh, this particular opportunity the location is going to be either bangalore hyderabad or pune okay so it depends on the project and their requirements uh in the application form basically they have uh, asked for locations which locations you can enter up to five locations but currently since the um opportunity is only for three locations you can put this three locations according to your preference if you get selected those locations will be available to you okay so what you can do is i'll share the link to this uh, in the description of the video later on okay but all of you guys or uh, if you are a 2025 batch student you have got two years to graduate and for this particular internship i think there would be one year so you have got a lot of time to prepare yourself for placements internships pre placement offers okay generally what happens your seniors probably the 2024 batch student they have already started with their on campus placements and they have got very less time to prepare for placements and upgrade their profile so if you have got so much of time during this third year make sure you do a lot of projects learn new skills learn latest technologies okay and once you enter the final year or maybe 2 to 3 months before entering the final year you can actually start preparing for companies which are 
going to come for your on campus placement and whenever such opportunities come up we'll be making sure that we update you with the uh, latest uh, you can say job updates internship updates ajinke you can just put in the link to our whatsapp group for 2025 batch so that students who are 2025 batch can join that particular group also guys if you have not started with your placement preparation if you are a 2025 batch student i uh, don't think that it is early because a lot of things to be done and time is less but since you are uh, in a third year you are entering your third year of your graduation you can join our complete placement preparatory live master class so in this master class under one course you get a lot of things so right from courses like aptitude that is quant reasoning verbal ability all four programming languages data structure algorithms operating systems computer networks dbms all company specific trainings latest technologies like full stack development ai ml lot of projects based on programming languages and latest technologies okay and also all the courses have got certification so whatever course you complete you get a certificate out of that so you can just go through this particular page uh, ajinka will share the link for the uh, master class as well so it has got a 24 months of validity so uh, if you purchase it now all the material will be accessible till the time of your graduation okay if you are a 2025 batch student so whatever you require you want to prepare for programming you want to do projects you want to face mock interviews okay so suppose any one of you get selected for google uh, internship if you want a mock interview to be conducted before your actual interview that also will be done in this particular program okay so uh, you want to do certifications projects everything so mock tests so whatever require for placement is covered in this particular class okay uh, you can go through this link you can check out the brochures the syllabus the detail content which is covered in the master class as well if you have got your friend also you can join using our buddy offer as well you can use the coupon code new batch on the card page and you can start with this particular master class any time you need okay so thank you guys for attending this particular live session make sure you go and apply for this uh, ajinka please update the application link in the chat as well so that the students who are live can click on that and go and visit okay and uh, we'll be also updating the application link in our uh, video description as well okay so thank you all of you for attending this particular live session and make sure guys uh, you share this opportunity with your 2025 batch students because they will be also uh, they can also get use of this particular opportunity thank you all of you and see you all in the next video whenever there is any update thank you uh let me just check out if there are any queries yeah so ayush it is only for 2025 batch it is not for 2024 batch okay so thank you all of you and i don't see any other query over there okay so let me end this particular session yes uh, lakshmi if your mca degree is ending in 2025 then you you can definitely apply for this because uh, they are accepting master students as well okay so thank you all of you and